so I just learned that there was a Warhammer total conversion mod for Mountain Blade 2. Apparently it has a bunch of different races. You got the vampire account, some beast men, uh, wood elves, stuff like that. We're going to start a new campaign now that I have this mod installed because I don't even want to play vanilla Mountain Blade anymore. All right, so real quick, I'll just show you guys which cultures we have to choose from. We have the Empire of Men. We have Bretonia, the vampire accounts. The Azrai, the, uh, the Onair, the On Onair. I actually never knew how to pronounce these guys' names. Musalan, and yeah, that's that's the six uh, factions that we can, or the six cultures that we can be a part of. We're gonna go with vampire accounts this time. I'm gonna make a character really quick so you guys don't have to watch this. This takes forever, so I'll see you guys in a sec. I know what you're gonna say, but yes. Vampires are supposed to have black hair. Well, uh, this is kind of a self-insert. And also, I've always been more, like, partial to uh, the blonde vampires in movies. You know, like Frost from Blade. And, like, Lestat and those guys from, like, Interview with a Vampire. Those guys are all blonde. They're cool as hell. All right. So, our family's background. Let's see what our choices are. Exiled Nobility will give us one hand. I prefer one hand. Riding, I could take it or leave it. Leadership would be nice. Uh, steward is definitely a plus. Let's see, Strigity Caravaneers, or Caravaners. Okay, so our trade to go up, and our charm. Ah, uh, Grave Robbers. Get Throwing, Athletics, Roguery. I don't really like to use pole arms. Fisher Folk, Athletics, a uh, bunch of Intelligence Points, Medicine, Steward, and Engineering, or an Orphan. One hand, athletics, tactics, and roguery. I think I'm going to go with exiled nobility. Ambition is the downfall of many, and your family fell out of grace with their elector. All right, my teenage years. I would kind of really like to lean into early stewardship. And one-handed, definitely. Um, Scouting is actually really nice, though, too. A necromancer's apprentice... Will give us some spellcraft that could be useful. I haven't really got to mess with the magic much yet. Peat farmer, no. Levied militia, probably not. Man, Strigany rake give us a lot in the socials. Um, nah, you know we're gonna we're gonna be noble attendant. We're just gonna be a uh, noble vampire who fell from grace. And we're gonna start as vampiric nobility. There we go. That's that's the kind of vampire I'm I'm talking about. He needs to look dead. All right, difficulty presets. Uh, player damage received. We're gonna do realistic. Friendly troops damage realistic. All realistic. Um. Combat AI difficulty. Let's uh. I'm going to get beat to hell. I usually play on normal mode. Let's let's move it up, dude. I'll, I'm going to challenge myself a little bit. We're going to go veteran. And clan member death possibility in battles. Realistic. This is a tough one for me. I don't know if I should enable birth and aging. That's a mod that I've got, which allows you to eventually die of old age and let somebody else take your throne. I don't know. Like, do vampires die of old age? I don't think they do. Though, at the same time, it could be kind of fun to eventually have uh, our character here die and have to leave his legacy behind to somebody else. We'll just auto-allocate or auto -allocate clan member perks. We're going to do Iron Man mode. So if I enable birth and aging... Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. Why not? We'll keep the game fresh. Okay, I downloaded a bunch of banners... And I don't know what I want to go with. All right, so I think uh, I think that's gonna be our flag. It's a uh, it's a uh, candelabra. We're gonna name this. We're gonna name uh, our family pale candle because I think that sounds kind of badass and it goes with the flag there. And uh, nah, we're not gonna go with George Asmus. Nah, <laughs> banked Klaus. Klaus is, is German. Helmet. Burkhart Pale Candle. That's kind of that's kind of hard. Ophia. Occult. 
Volcard Pale Candle. There we fucking go. All right. Volcard Pale Candle it is. All right, so with this mod, quite a few things have been changed. For instance, now you'll notice that we have some new skills down here. We have Faith, Gunpowder, and Spellcraft. Actually, Spellcraft, we got a point in that already. So we can learn Novice Spells. Athletics, I'm going to take the uh, combat movement speed. I usually do, just because you move so atrociously slow, regardless. And then, up here in the corner, you have your spell book, where... If you're minor magic spells, you have some stuff like Magic Bolt, Petty Heal, Aura of Resistance, Dust Storm. And then I think because I'm a vampire and I am under the Van Karstein line, I I am, or the Von Karstein line, excuse me, I have Necromancy spells. So right now, the only spell that I have under that line is Raise the Dead. And under the minor magic, I've got Magic Bolt. You can learn new spells here. I'm not sure if you can learn spells by leveling up or if you 100% have to go to necromancers and other spell teachers to learn how. You pretty much go there, you pay them money, and then they'll teach how to do a new spell. And then, let's see here. You have the career paths. Now, it's kind of interesting. Once you start putting points into a career path, you're not necessarily locked out of other career paths. I don't know if you can eventually max out and get every single career path, but it's based on your uh, your clan renown. So right now at clan renown zero and one, we have the new blood path and we have the feral path. Feral gives you 10% extra melee damage on the first point, increases health regen on the campaign map by three point by three on the second point, and so on. New blood will give you hit points, party size, more wins of magic, etc. It's actually kind of cool. And it looks like I forgot to solidify my decisions here. Let me do that real quick. All right. So off the bat, we've got our one guy. We're going to go to Castle Drakenhof. Hopefully not get captured by these outlaw raiders. So... With this, I, I believe the Diplomacy mod does not work. I've got the Diplomacy mod installed right now, and unfortunately, I don't think it has any compatibility with the Old Realms mod. Likewise, I, I also did have Aging and Birth, and I, I believe I turned those on when I was making this game. Well, my game, I, I had some issues, so I had to restart everything. But now that I think about it, when I was doing the options again, I don't think that aging and birth will make a difference because I don't think that you can really have relations in old realms. We're going to find that out eventually, but I'm not really sure. Anyway, so recruiting troops is exactly the same as it, as it always is. You can either go to the tavern to recruit some, uh, some somewhat experienced troops. You can go to recruit generic troops here. And you can go to the graveyard. And if you raise dead from the corpses in the ground, uh, it'll it's an eight hour thing. It'll take eight hours until you can do it again. But the thing with that is, is that while you're raising skeleton armies from the graveyards, it's, a, it's an illegal action. So if you get busted doing it, they're going to throw you in the slammer. So we're not going to do that yet. There's nobody in the keep, so it wouldn't really make any sense to pay money to get into the keep. For some reason they have no troops here to recruit right now so we're gonna we're gonna saunter up the road probably over to waldenhof and hopefully we don't get captured along the way it'd be kind of nice uh i would like to run into v von karstein and maybe join his army just to get a little like surplus so down here in our bar you'll notice that we have two new things here oh wait three new things i don't i don't know what this is i haven't really messed with this yet currently no act of blessing you're a vampire you are your own god so i'm assuming that i cannot pray to the gods or something and get blessings from them so that might not be applicable in this playthrough but we have the winds of magic it's exactly what you think it is if uh you're somebody who's even somewhat familiar with war war uh hammer i almost said warcraft <laughs> and yeah winds of magic is basically your your mana reserve then as vampires we have dark energy now dark energy is if you have played warhammer total war 3 you'll know that dark energy is basically our currency that we use to 
keep our army of the dead going and also upgrading so every turn you'll either gain some or lose some depending on you know like whatever you've got going on and as you summon skeletons and upgrade skeletons it costs more and more dark energy to keep them roll to keep them going they also suffer from the morale penalty where if you don't have high enough morale then i believe your skeleton armies will start to disintegrate and with that uh we're just playing some normal mountain blade now so there was a mission here and now it's gone so i'm wondering if it was one of the lords that was in there there was manfred right there i think we might go and try to work for him just to get a little a little uh start in our game here so let's go to the keep ah, he's still not there we can wait for him outside there he is we're gonna go pledge our sword to him he'll get us into some quick battles who are you to approach me? Speak, as my patience wears thin. I'm Bulkard, who are you? I'm Manfred von Karstein, ruler of the governor of Sylva er, ruler of the province of Sylvania. I'm Lord of Castle Drakenhof and Waldenhof. Uh I would like to join your army. Ah, fresh blood. Sure, I have use for you. Just know that you will serve me and I tolerate no further sheep in my warband. I accept my lord. We're going to chill. We're going to chill with him. He's going to get us into some fights pretty early on. Not to mention, he is. All, we're also going to try to get our relations up with him. Not, not like that, though. We're not trying to have relations with Manfred. I'll show you how spellcasting works. So, we've got our magic missile and our raised dead spell. We're going to grab a magic missile because we can get some easy uh, spellcraft experience here by casting a few of these. Oh, I think I've messed up. All right, so we're going to cast these at these guys who are running away right now. And it looks like we hit quite a few of them and gained some, uh, gained some athletics, riding. I was kind of looking to gain some spellcraft, personally, but... You're just slaying peasants. Who were these guys? Oh, they were just outlaws. Okay. But it's really cool. So, so far, they've got quite a few... They've got quite a few different uh, races and factions in the game. They've got Beastmen. They've got Chaos Cultists. They've got the Empire, of course. Bretonians. Vampires here. All right, uh, just in the next time, I have his thanks. And we're going to continue rolling with the uh, with the troops. So I believe he's paying us 300 a day. Oh, he's paying us 41 a day. I don't know why I thought he was paying us 300 a day. Jesus Christ, whose army is that? Johan Hayfish von Karstein. All right, dude. Look at that guy. Jesus. See, I've never seen an army that big in vanilla Mountain Blade. Yo, what the hell are we doing here, guys? We just uh, singing Kumbaya and stuff? All right. Well, as long as you're still paying me. Let's see if I got any points. There we I got a one-handed point there. We're going to throw it in weapon handling. And I get a career point. We did. So, new blood, we're going to dump a point into that, and dump a point into barrel for now. All right. What the hell is this guy doing? He's just, like, chilling. I think he's mustering up his army again. Maybe. There we go. All right, we're going to fight some Ungas. Some Unga Bungas. By my will, he of me. Oh, you bastards. You slowed me down. All right, we're going to ride in on them. 
since we're not since we're not running our own army i'm not gonna worry about raising the dead right now i am gonna throw some more magic missiles though and it slows down so you can cast it which is kind of nice there we go we fucking we hit a few dudes with that i'm pretty sure my riding and athletics are leveling up i don't know about my spellcraft though Looks like he just cast a big old spell too. We missed it, but oh, I just got hit by a spell. Ah, give my horse back. Okay, so you gotta be careful about that because spells do friendly fire. Uh, did we win? Yeah. I'm the only one that got hurt. I earned one percent of the loot. Look at me. Wow. Wow, Manfred, you're such a you're such a kind and generous leader. One percent. Actually, we got twelve hundred bucks. We're not really making a lot of money, but we are making a lot of dark magic, and that is arguably more important. Important. More important. Sent to the settlement here. Uh. We don't really need to go to the keep. I, well, those guys, we don't really need to talk to those guys right now. And we can't have our own party. So we're pretty much just waiting at the behest of Manfred to, to take us into more battles. Do I have... Does it tell me my relation with the guy? Man, friend's only 51. <laughs> See, it's been so... I like... As soon as I got Mountain Blade 2, I, I jumped immediately into using the diplomacy mod. So I don't really know what's vanilla and what's not. But like this right here, this should be a diplomacy thing. I should be able to send him a message rather than having to physically go to him and then we can talk. I don't know how to check my relations with these guys though. That ain't it. Okay. Well, it looks like we've got a fight. By my will. I guess it's some pretty quick, easy spellcraft uh, and athletics and writing uh, experience here. get away from these guys before they end up uh for the vampires end up launching another like fat magic missile at us is it safe am i going on these dudes all right won that one we only lost one guy and we plundered five whole dollars guys Five whole dollars. So is he going to start paying me the longer I'm in his army? Like, is he going to start paying me more? Why do I have to avoid combat? I didn't get hurt. That was kind of weak sauce. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really hurt, but I don't, I don't remember it getting hurt. I didn't catch a second magic missile or anything. All right. Manfred von Karstein of Sylvania has declared war on... On the moot. I don't know who the moot is. All right. Bohemond Beast Slayer is declaring war on us. And the Electric Count Wolfram Hurtvig of Ostermark declares war on us. So we are getting ready to get into a big fucking fight here. I don't know if we chose the right side, guys. Unfortunately, I have to keep avoiding all of these combats right now because I'm so hurt. I'm going to say at 20%, I should be able to join. I will show you guys the summon the dead uh, spell here. It's pretty cool. It's exactly what you think it is. All right, so we're going to roll, roll about right here. 
drop back down. Now we got a bunch of skeletons popping out of the ground. We're gonna tell them to charge. And I don't have any more magic right now. I'm a little scared to go in on these guys because I know the vampires are just gonna cast spells with uh, with, uh, with no discretion. Yep, there's one right there. I could I could I could have got caught in that. Oh shit! What happened to me? See, I think I still took some magic damage. I don't know why. All right, I just need to be a little more careful there. No, do not abandon the party. I need to be a little more careful there. Seemed like I got a little bit of spell residue on me. I'm gonna go with maneuvering for both myself and my troops. And did we earn a career point? We did. So let's increase our health regeneration by three on the campaign or on, on the map. Unfortunately, have to avoid that fight. Yeah, we're getting tons of dark energy. That's that's super useful. You need increasingly more and more dark energy in order to, to keep your skeleton crew alive. And I'd prefer having skeletons and vampires in my crew over just like normal humans. I mean, I'll, I'll have both, but I mean, I'm a vampire. I want to I want to have a vampire undead army, you know? You know, for somebody at war with uh, like 80 different uh, factions, we're not really doing a whole lot of war with 80 different factions. We're surrounded by enemies. Oh yeah, so for this map, they did an entirely, uh, entirely new uh, custom map here too. And it's, I, I, man, I don't know a whole lot about the, uh, the Warhammer Fantasy map like itself, like the actual like map uh, like of the world. But it seems like it's pretty faithful to the map from Total War Warhammer 3. I'm assuming this is like the area that you would be in if you were playing as Castle Drakenhof. Like up to, or down south would be the, uh, shit, who's down there? Who's down there? Don't remember, but I think up north would be like Nagash? If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, like... Nagash and Arcan the Black, like in, in in the desert. All right, we can actually get in on this fight. Um, let's not take any magic missiles or frost breath or anything, whatever the hell that that stuff that hit us last time was. We're gonna roll in. We're gonna throw a spell, and then we're gonna let them do their spells. So something I haven't really been able to demonstrate yet is the fact that they have, I mean, obviously like with the battlefields, you can kind of, I, I, you know what? I, honestly, now that I, now that I think about it, I can't really think of what the vanilla battlefields look like, but when you go into hideouts and when you go into settlements and villages, all of that stuff is custom now to be, to, to fit into the Warhammer world. So everything just looks really cool. Like the arenas are all redone. I mean, absolutely everything. Where the hell are these guys? I'm just following these these blood knights here. Uh, oh, they're like way up on this hill. Okay, it's a little strange. All right, y'all are about to get some magic missile on ya. Better look out. You better look out for the little magic missile. This magic missile. All right, we hit them hard. We hit everybody over there for like 38, 40s. Ooh, they're slinging arrows and shit at us. Again, I don't know where Manfred is, so I don't know where he's, if he's gonna be slinging spells. Oh shit, we took that one. We took that one. That one hurt a little bit. 
Damn, where we take that at? Through the arm. Oh, look at the castle up there. That's so cool. Well, it's not a castle, but it's like a like a bell tower or like a something. That's sick. I also saw a few guys running around up here. What are they doing? Graveguard really needs to uh, to do something here. Can I summon up some dead? I can't. I need two more wins. I need two more magic. That hurts. Manfred, where the fuck were you? The only reason I wasn't going in on those guys is because I was afraid that you're going to blow me away with your magic. You're not even up this fucking hill yet. Uh, let's fast forward this. Looks like they're kind of stuck. Yeah, see? That could have been me. Those guys just got clouded. Yeah, so what? What is this? This is really cool. We go inside? Kind of, actually. What about through the door? This is a church. Okay, there's nothing in the church. Gonna fast forward these guys all smoking this one last dude. He's holding it down though. He's holding it down for the humans. I want to see this. Are you guys fucking serious? What's what's this guy doing? Whose side are you on? They look really cool though. They look really good. The people who worked on this mod did a great job. I mean it's janky, but and that guy. All right. Good job, boys. Boy, the Empire sure felt that one. And we, of course, have got to heal up a little bit again. Um, I'm wondering if I should just heal to full. We're going to skip that fight. We got, a, we got a decent sized little army here going on though. Chasing chasing Imperials down. What does my spellcraft tree do for me? Actually, let's uh put a focus point in that. Put a focus point in one handed. And I think oh, medicine probably wouldn't be a bad idea. We'll save that for now. So we're going to have to dump another one in order to get to this next uh, part of the tree here. So your damaging spells do 30% less damage to troops in your party. And we get a 5% advantage in sim battles. And our damaging spells do 90% reduced damage to ourself. Your self-targeted buff spells have 50% more duration. Actually, yeah. Can I go into the keep? Let's go into the Lord's Hall. I'll show you the Lord's Hall. Look at this shit. Look how cool this is. Look, they like re totally redid it. Like, man, we got, got like pottery, we got blood cabbages, dungeons over that way, but look at this. Rave von Stahl. Look at this guy with that haircut. Uh, what's up, buddy? I'm Volkart. Okay, you're uh, Rave von Stahl of the Scarlet Order, huh? There's something I'd like to discuss. I don't actually don't have any proposals. I gotta go now. Got the Von Karstein Noble. Fucking watching the door. Card people. Look at these guys. And our Von Karstein. Let's talk to this guy. Uh, I don't really have anything to offer this dude either. I'm just a lowly, lowly peasant. You can tell by my clothes. Got Emanuel Von Tempelhof. Oh, yeah. Shit. Forgot about that. Uh, so, I'm a vampire. I got a, su I got a super jump. I can jump really high. I don't think I can take fall damage. Yeah, we got a feast. 
a feast from the from the east. Manfred. It's been some time. It has been. We've been uh I've been getting injured, man. There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Uh never mind. Heard you up. You need some help with a problem. I'm at your service, my lord. Just tell me the details. Yes, it's about the war with, with the Averland. We need to tie up some of their forces. A relatively small force moving quickly through their lands and raiding their villages should be a good distraction. Their lords will need to chase the raiders and won't be able to threaten us elsewhere. You seem to be the right man for the job. What do you say? You'll have my gratitude and you'll be well rewarded if you succeed. Good. See, if you can hit three villages, they won't be able to ignore that kind of damage. I'll give you $15,000 for doing that and 3000 more for every extra one that you raid. Agreed? This is our chance. This is our chance. I'll strike territory. I'll strike into their territory as you command, my lord. All right. So, looks like we're going to have to break free from from him. Wait. Has your oath become burdensome, Volcard? It is unusual to request release from homage, but in respect of your fine service, I will not hold you if you truly wish to end it. Though you would be sorely missed. It is something I must do, my lord. Then you are sure. Also, be aware that if you leave my services, you will be surrendering to me all the fiefs which you hold in my name. Wait, hold up. I actually don't know how this works. So, am I able to... No, I'm still... I'm still, like, part of his gang. I need to talk to him. Oh! <laughs> oh! I would like to quit my service, or I would like to be released from my... Oh. Are you sure? Yes, I want to leave. Okay. Wait, no, what? Is that canceled? God damn it. See, I don't know how this shit works. Uh, all right. Yes. Okay, maybe I should have done the oath thing. I don't know. I, I really don't know how this works. I wish it would like tell me. Damn it, we had a crash. Okay, so I'm not sure how far back the crash put us. I think it put us back right before we tried to ask Manfred for our freedom. All right, Dukedom of Muslin has formed an alliance with Sylvania. Okay. So I think that's one less gang that we got to worry about. Were we at war with those guys in the first place? We're having to avoid combat that sucks. Angor war bands. Chasing down some more Imperials. We're going to join that battle. Yeah, unfortunately, there are still some crashes here and there. I've, I've, I've had, I don't know, maybe a total of like four crashes since I've started messing around with this mod. It's pretty stable for the most part, but every once in a while, you'll just run into something like that. We need to re... We need to increase our, our magic reserves, though, so we can cast more uh, more than one raised dead in a fight. All right. All right. Oh, damn. Are you serious? Well, we're going to fast forward this then. It was a small fight anyways. Yeah, I'm getting my ass kicked. I really do need to get my get my health back up. So let's see, do I have, okay, nope. I still have already put those career points in. Just want to make sure I don't know how far back we got tossed because of that crash. And yeah, we're just, uh, we're just chilling, chilling with, uh, with Von Karstein. Start one handed. Our next ones are going to be swift strike, which we're definitely going to take. And then I moved movement penalty speed or er, Movement speed, penalty of wielding shields. 
probably gonna go with cavalry next. And let's see, let's uh let's uh let's curry favor with the commander, shall we? We have to avoid this conflict, unfortunately. We're still getting paid though. In both money and dark magic. So now we're making 152 bucks a day. Which is nothing. But that's you know, I mean shit. We're not we're not paying dark magic for uh keeping our skeleton army hosted. We're not paying money to 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 my, my keep soldiers, although my leadership is being affected by that. So do I have enough magic? That one costs four, that one costs fifteen. Okay. I wonder how we charge our mist form. I've never used that spell yet. Look at those guys moonwalking out there. Like they fucking own the place. All right, we're slinging, we're slinging one on these guys right here. Oh, I missed. Oh no, we're gonna take a spell. We're gonna take a spell. We gotta get back. Launch it, Manfred, launch it. Shoot the J. We just hit my horse with an arrow. That's what it sounded like. Yeah, he did right in his ass. Yep, so I feel like if we ride through that, uh, that's gonna hurt us. Let's let's give this a let's test this real quick. Okay, maybe it dissipated. That was my kill, bro. All right, the rattle of the skeletons means that we won. Everybody's all shaken with glee. These these loading screens are so much cooler too. Damn, we got we got a dollar. Nice. Got a whole ass dollar. All right, so I want to go back and I, I want to try to do that mission for von Karstein, but for some reason. It, like I don't I don't know how to do it. I can't I can't leave his company to go and actually do it unless I leave his company. So that one might have to wait. I really wish he would go after uh, a bigger army right here though. I feel like he's being kind of a puss puss and and not like fighting like the big battles. So we're gonna we're gonna drive by magic these dudes. Yeah, I'd be running too. I'd be scared as hell. There we go. We hit a couple guys that one. All right, and yeah, we got some more athletics and skill writing uh, level ups there. Don't necessarily want to get too close to these dudes. I guess I can throw some more magic missiles, can I? Yeah, there we go. All right, they got hit with the they got hit with the magic too. Oh, see, there's that spell that came down. I wonder if I've been hit by those a couple times. Good to see you here, Volkard. Uh, you, yeah, you too, man. What, did you forget that I'm part of your army? Did you just forget that I'm hanging out in here? Oh shit, why am I not getting a uh, focus points my spellcraft? I thought I put some of those in there. That, that must have been before the crash. All right, we're gonna apply those. I did get another career point. Party movement speed is increased by 1.5 versus a bigger party in general. Uh, let's get our movement speed up. And actually, let's throw some points into... Let's throw this point into intelligence here. All right. Going to join that battle. All 
I find some beast men this time. Where the hell are they at? Must be like up over this hill. Yeah, there they are down there. Damn, they got they got a little army going on. Whoa, shit. Thrown spears. Get them, fucking get them, get them, get them, boys. They're really accurate with those. I wonder if that's because of the difficulties on veteran. Usually, I play on normal, so I'd assume that they probably get a little bit a uh, little bit of uh, buff to their skills. It's not gonna save them from the undead army, though. All right, we're just gonna watch these guys start melting. Look at them, they look really good. I don't know if you can kind of, you can see amongst all the skeletons. But yeah, you know, yeah, they actually look like beast men. All right, I got another dollar for my great service out there on the, on the battlefield. A rebel faction has emerged in Sylvania. They are led by clan traders' blood. Clan traders' blood. The rebels demand that their lands be allowed to secede from the kingdom. Don't do it, Manfred. Don't let them go. Don't let them secede. Unfortunately, I cannot partake in this fight. All right. Akshatan. Oh, the moot is no more. The moot has been taken out. The halflings and Sylvania have made peace. What about the other guys? Okay, yeah. Now we're now we're going to campaign against uh what are these Bretonians or Empire? I feel like they're Empire. I don't know why they would put that in like totally black, <laughs> totally black uh, color font there or color there. All right, Manfred von Karstein grants uh, Eichstätten to Baron Derek von Bitte. I didn't vote on that. I don't remember voting on that. Oh shit! All right, we're gonna join this battle with our forty percent health. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't be the ones who run out. Oh, yeah. See, they got like the, the wraiths and stuff, too. That's awesome. That's so awesome. Did you guys already melt those dudes? Holy shit. Uh, good job, gang. All right. See, how do I get out of how do I get out of serving Manfred without like pissing him off? By my will. Just because I would like to start my own I would like to start my own little clan here. And then also I would I would like to do his missions for him. Although he might not have that mission anymore that now that we're not at war. cast in a frontal cone okay like right there that's a fr pretty frontal cone if you ask me uh cast that magic bull bro yeah see shit like that happens you gotta be careful that magic is at that magic is really really tough all right all right manfred you've hit me with an ice blast for the last time where the hell are we going take me back to drakenhof i want to be free can you get it on the unga bunga war bands dude you better take us home you better turn this car around and take us home right now.
quit getting us into fights I can't partake in. Go fight the, the illuminated over there. Ah. Uh. Here we go. I haven't fought these guys yet. By my will, he They've got a pretty sizable little army there. How many of them are slinging arrows and shit? Ooh, man, look at all of them. Can I hit them with the missile from here? Nice. There we go. All right, I need to run it out. I need to run it out so I don't get hit with the, the spell. I've got another magic bolt here that I can cast. All right. They're not ready for it. They're not ready for it. Jesus. Jesus, those spells are tough. All right. I have noticed that my spellcraft isn't really going up all that much though. This guy's trying to escape. We don't let us we don't let him escape. Alright. Good job guys. GG's. So I know like Nurgle cultists are out there too. Alright, uh for saving our necks. I wish this shit wasn't in the way, Volcar. Truly, you are the best of friends. Thanks. Man, that, that means a lot coming from Manfred. We are the best of friends, aren't we? What's happening here? Oh, we're just taking a break, getting a bite to eat. Dude, the vampire horse armor with, like, the human face on the front. That's so cool. All right. Bastone and Sylvania have made peace. The halflings in Sylvania have made peace. So does that mean we're not at war anymore with anybody? Uh, no, we still are. We're still at war with uh, three different places. Looks like they're all Empire. Yeah. Looks like we gained some skill points here. One in Charm. Okay, plus three renown whenever a tournament is won. Plus 30% more likely to have children. See, I don't know if that's a thing. And again, I would like to have some like children. That would be kind of that would be kind of badass if if it's possible. And again, I did turn it off. Shit, I don't know. We didn't get any more career points. It'd be kind of weird if they let me have that as a skill point if, like, birth and aging. Well, maybe aging. I don't know. I don't know which stuff. Is that is that vanilla stuff or is that a uh, mod? By my way. I want a skeletal steed like that. All right, Angors. We heading in the right direction. We are, boys. I don't. I don't see the enemies out there on the battlefield yet. What the hell are these dudes? Might not be charging in the right direction. I don't see him over there. Let's see, let's see. Where might they be? Oh, we're gonna start getting into the trees. I don't like that. I can't I, I can't drive this horse with a shit. Where the hell are these dudes at? I don't 
see him anywhere. Oh, they're that way. Okay. All right. So first of all, let's uh, let's dump, let's dump a raise dead on them. Dump the race dead on him. Tell him to charge. I really wish it wouldn't like uh, I'd equip my weapon when I did this. When I went to cast spells. And we don't have enough for a magic missile, unfortunately. Manfred over there killing all my skeleton warriors. Missed him. Oh, he didn't miss me though. All right, finish him off, boys. All right, we got 14 bucks that time. Not shit. All right, Manfred, get us home, dude. It has been some time. It has been. So if I am released from my oath, which which one? Uh, I'd like to quit my service. Are you sure? Yes, I want to leave. Okay. So we left we left them, but it doesn't seem as though they're like super sad about it. So now, can we talk to? Oh. Can we talk to him? Purging to help the problem. I don't need the service of strangers. I work only with lords of the realm and loyal mercenaries. Man. Why are you being like this? Why are you being like this right now? I would like to enter your service. What's the difference between that and I am offering my sword? Oh, yeah. My clan needs to be tier one. My lord, I'd pledge my allegiance to you and be counted among, uh, yeah. I would like to be your, your most loyal follower, man, but apparently I need to, uh, to be a higher. Okay. You know what? I got, I, it's not you, Manfred. It's me. I need to, I need to work on myself right now. I just, there's some stuff that I need to personally work on. Like building up an army and earning your trust. This just isn't right for us right now. This isn't right for either of us right now. I've got some money to be on my way. Thanks for the experience. Ah, uh, now we're not going to get those free company scouts. We are going to get some of these skeletons here. And some Sylvanian armed peasants. We'll skip out on the graveyard for now. We don't really want to get in trouble. Let's go over to Drakenhof here. See if we can buy some more troops. We can. We can get some Sylvanian state troops and some Sylvanian levies. That brings us up to a total of 13. We'll go hit up Fulberg. Okay, so we have random occurrences, that, like random events that can happen while you're traveling around. Here, a fair in the woods. As your army travels, a sudden clearing reveals a surprising sight. A bustling fair known as the Morslibe revelry. Tents stand proud. Colors dancing in the dappled sunlight. Laughter mingles with the snorts of horses. The heart of this joyous gathering. Merchants beckon their eyes alight with mischief. Hawking horses at a discount from the standard rates you'd find in the scrolls. The air carries the tempting scents of roasted meat, frothy ale, and tangy wine. Amidst the merry crowd, a farmer grins, offering a turnip that oddly resembles the famed twin-tailed comet. Yours for a mere penny, a chance to possess this curious marvel. We can join the crowd at the horse market. Savor the flavors. Savor the flavor. Test our luck at the horse races. Let's uh let's check out that turnip, huh? Intrigue tugs at your senses as you gaze upon the comet-shaped turnip, a whimsical marvel. A farmer grins, inviting you to join a raffle. Let's do it. Fire luck, 50 bucks. 
All right, with a coin and a smile, you secure your chances at the raffle. Who knows? The Comet Kiss Tournament might be yours after all. With anticipation in the air, the raffle commences, and as the announcer calls out the winning ticket number, you hold your breath. However, luck is not on your side this time. The winning number isn't yours, and a twinge of disappointment washes over you. Ah, uh, let's savor the flavor of the air. Indulge in the fair's feast. All right, so scent, swirl, and tempt, guiding you to a feast of flavors. Meats, sizzle, and ale froth. It's a carnival for the senses. There's plenty of food available, and it's yours to partake. Yeah, we're going to get that for our boys. Indulgence wins. You feast. The fair's flavors a delightful symphony on your tongue. Merchants nod their approval as you partake. All right, let's check out the horse market. Uh, okay, so the fair's heart beats strongest at the horse market. Proud stallions prance, their eyes fierce and wild. One horse, a pretty in particular captures your attention it has a sleek ebony coat that glistens in the sunlight and its eyes seem to hold a knowing glint we can uh let's try to get a lower price on it no maybe we should just take the deal because we might get locked out of buying it no uh, let's go no nah, yeah let's, let's just buy it you strike a deal with the merchant that you exchange coins for a sturdy saddle and reins with the surge of anticipation you mount the horse the connection between you is immediate. The horse seems to respond to your touch with trust and eagerness. Return to the revelry, and let's continue our journey through the woods. As the fair's merriment fades, you step back into the embrace of the wilderness, leaving the laughter of the fair's revelry behind. So what kind of horse did we get? An empire charger? Sheesh. All right. Hell yeah, that's way better than the horse we've got right now. Let us recruit some more troops. All of these humans working for their vampire master. We're going to go over to Gerhoff. Right now, we're just trying to get... We're trying to get a band of guys together. We need to buy some food as well. Forgot I got to feed these things. That ought to do us well for now. We'll recruit some more bogus-ass peasant troops. What's Sumpdorf got going on over here? All right, Mirage of Sumpdorf. Oh, he needs draft animals. Uh, that might be uh, that might be work that we can't really mess with for now. Actually, let's see what's going on at the arena. They got a. Uh... They will trouble your puny body beneath our hooves, Raxul. All right, you heard the man. Nah, we're we're fucking we're going in on this. All right. By my will, hear me. All right, boys. Say your Fight or die. Fight or die, because we are we are very outnumbered here. Mm. Say your Say your All right, charge him. Nah, this is my new horse, bro. Don't do this to me. Oh, man, they're such good shots with those arrows. These fucking Ungors. All right, which way are they facing? They're not facing me, it doesn't look like. Oh, did he just get killed, like, right as I got up on him? Shit, we're missing. We're missing. I I know, by the way, guys, it's kind of dark. I feel like that's a that's a Warhammer thing. Oh, he dodged. He ducked that shit. All right, we're just gonna keep taking our making our circles here. Why did I switch? Why did I switch? Which way I was hitting? Oh my god, this is horrible. There we go. We hit a guy. We actually hit a guy that time. Holy shit. I just cannot hit these dudes. That was a little too early. That's all right. The gang will handle it. Come on. You gonna tell me that wasn't a hit? 
Good job, man. How many guys did we lose? We lost uh, 21 guys. That's kind of a lot. But we've got some enslaved skeletons now. Finally got a shield. Perfect. Okay. We need a shield. Very bad. Got a new cape. Throw that bad boy on. We've got some arrows. But we don't have we don't have a a bow. That's alright though. That that's alright for now. That shoulder harness gives us a lot more arm armor, but I'm not worried about getting hit in the arm all that much. Okay. So let's head back over to Castle Drakenhoff. I've got I've got one health left. Sheesh. I was about done for there. All right, let's go sell off all of the stuff that we just earned. Good deal. And let's go to the tavern district, ransom off our prisoners. I can't join the tournament because I, uh, I'm too hurt. That really sucks. We're going to rest up here for a little while. So this guy right here, Geronimus Dark Magister. This guy will sell you some new spells. Show you him. Uh, I'll show you him just a second here. Got more, more career points. Increases hit points by 25. Let's take another one of those. And done. Let's go visit this guy. I just want to show you how this works here. So I have come seeking further knowledge. And then here, so 5,000 for Ward of Arrows. Uh, we have Dark Magic here, although I have to... I think I have to be versed in Dark Magic. And I, I can't remember how to do that. I learned how to do that. I think it's just like a, a matter of maybe upgrading my career path. Then we can also buy more Necromancy spells. Gaze in the Gash. What is... I mean, I know what that does. It's a magic missile. What about Dance Macabre? Does it, like, actually tell us, like, how much it helps us? The animated dead are normally ungainly and cumbersome. This spell, however, gives them grace and speed and makes them all the more deadly as a result. It doesn't really give specifics, though. But, yeah, so you buy new scrolls from this dude. Or, do you sell any scrolls? Whoa. What does this shit do? Item effects. Grants XP. Oh, I think I think you can buy scrolls to like level up your your uh your skills, just all of them. That's interesting. Very well, Magister. But yeah, and this is his spot. Fucking sick. Look at this. Look at this. This is amazing. Actually, I've never gone down there before. Look at this. Look how fucking cool this is, though. I really can't wait to see, like, how much more support uh, this mod gets, man. Like, this is awesome. I would love to eventually see, like, maybe, like, Skaven and, and like, Orcs or, like, Trolls. I noticed that the Wood Elves... The Wood Elves actually have, like, Trents and stuff that they can summon. Like, as they're, like... I think they're... I'm not sure if they're hero units or not. I'd assume they probably are. But yeah, so like Wood Elves and shit get like Trents. I don't know what the Empire gets as far as special units go. Vampires, we obviously get like uh, Grave Guards and Blood Knights and like Wraiths and stuff like that. But yeah, th this this mod has, has impressed me so far. Again, I would like to see a little more diplomacy involved, but uh, you know, you take what you can get. We upgrade any of our troops. All right, turn him into a swordsman. This is where uh, it's going to start costing us some dark magic here when we start leveling up our skeletons. Who cost dark magic there? Then I Does he? That Sylvanian state troop shouldn't have cost any dark magic. It's probably the skeletons.
actually real quick so i know I've, I've i've done some arena battles yeah look at look at all of the uh the items though like they've they've added so many cool like weapons and shit like vampire great axes and they've they've added armors and like necromancer staffs i think they've always had the scythes i'm pretty sure they've always had the scythes you got like uh vampire shields like all kinds of cool shit what i want to see i've i've noticed uh some of the some of the enemies um that I fought like in the arena and like in battles and stuff have had have had guns like muskets and stuff you know like warhammer guns I want to see if like I can get those I would love to have one of those I don't know if they're like a high tier crossbow or what all right we're at about 60 percent health can we hire any more troops right now? Doesn't look like it. We could hire some guy, some free company volunteers. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Wait here for a little more time. And so how much dark magic are we losing a turn? Doesn't look like we're losing any, but I don't believe that. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna saddle up on this Ungor warband here. We will trample your puny body beneath our hooves. Yeah, we'll see about that, tough guy. We will see about that. I got a, sh I got a shield now. There's not shit you can do to me. Okay, so I've got to put some archers out in formation. Uh, let's see. We got one, two. We got one and three. We'll put our second formation off to the side there with our ranged units. Can we move these guys around? Is that how this works? Or are the for formations always in the same spots? Either way. Yeah. Alright, let's get these dudes. See if I can cast one of these off before they inevitably hit me with like a fuck ton of uh, a bunch of uh, arrows and shit. And I I am really bad at the uh, mounted combat here. I'm really bad with uh, spears too. If anybody was curious. Dude, they just hit my horse pretty hard. I just, I got this horse at a fair, man. This is my special horse. Who we will definitely get rid of the uh, second we have our chance to get like a, a cool special steed. Shoot my horse. Get him, boys. Finish him off. All right. GG's. Good GG's, man. We only lost three guys. We will get some more skeletons here and some prisoners. That's right. We'll get rid of these prisoners before it matters. All right, we're getting some high money items like jewelry and velvet. Nice. Ah, uh, I'm going to stick with my small shield for now. We got another horse. Bunch of food for the boys. All right. That's a nice little cash out. Well, we'll just go dump all this shit real quick while we're, while we're still in the neighborhood. Not worried about uh, making a bunch of money trading right this second. I think we're doing just fine. Uh, you know, honestly, like, uh, we don't really require a lot of money because, because of the nature of our army. All right.
Recruit 20 free company bowmen for four grand. Damn. All right, we're going to get some more skeletons. Oh, well, maybe. Might be might be too many people, actually. So, how, are we in surplus, dark magic-wise? Can't really tell. Let's get a few less... Oh, wait, no, I've already got, like, a full crew. Never mind. Then, if that's the case... I don't have any more career points. All right, so we're going to have to roll with it. We're gonna have to, we might have to kick somebody out of our team here. So, like, let's upgrade our guys real quick. Three company volunteers. We want a militia man or scouts. Let's do about half and half. Okay, now. Oh. Got some leadership points there. Nice. So two experience per day to all troops and party, and plus one to troop tiers when recruiting from same culture. Or plus three experience per day to each troop and garrison in the governed settlement, plus four experience per day to tier one and two troops. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. I think we're going to go with combat tips. And then, did we earn a career point? We did not. I don't really know what earns us career points. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Okay, so we've got enough troops. Have we got any basic troops that we don't really need? This skeleton is only a... Yeah, we're gonna have to leave him by himself. I'm sorry, buddy. He's gonna be all cold and lonely out there. All right, I think we should uh maybe... Should we hit up a deserter camp? I don't know if our guys are are that tough yet. We can always hit up these uh these Ungors here though. We will trouble your puny part. Yeah, we need to level up our guys. We might even get some more uh loot to help us like personally become tougher. By my will, he help me. All right, let's hit it, boys. Yeah. Oh, I've got... Yeah, i got quite a few people. They're tough. I will say that. But are they tough enough? Not when I fucking Vanguard deploy some, some skeletons behind them and close them in. They're not going to be that tough. Alright, where are they at? Oh, shit. All right. Damn, they're hitting me. They're hitting me. Yeah, they're they're pretty good with those uh with those arrows and stuff. Get them, boys. Why did that equip my unequip my shield or my sword? Oh, they're taking the high ground. Where the hell is my army at? There they are. They're coming in. Come on, he was standing still. Why can't I hit shit? go. Kill the guy. With a sword, even. Alright, good job, men. Alright, we have won the battle. And we have gained 6.6 .6 renown, 3.8 morale, and 100% of the loot. Unfortunately, we don't have... Uh, we can take the enslaved warriors. We're going to have to leave the rest of the guys behind. We'll take those prisoners, too. Okay. 
a large bag of arrows as opposed to just a bag of arrows. I'll take that, even though I'm not really using them yet. Damn. Give me a bow that I can use. Give me a bow that I can use now, baby. I think we can probably, uh, so we can rank up our guys, 100%. We can rank up some dudes. Yeah, all right. Now we're getting some Black Knights. Hell yeah. Ah, uh, let's get a Spearman. We don't really have a whole lot of those guys. Okay, so we've got some Black Knights now. We've got a Black Knight now. It'd probably do us good to, to buy some horses. Okay, dump all of these goods, even the wool. I usually keep the tools just because, like, that's, like, a simple mission. Like, whenever, like, somebody specific needs tools, like, that's that's kind of an easy one to, to get. And some more prisoners, and we're already we already got ten grand. Uh, we are gonna go buy some horses real quick over at Wartendorf. Okay, so let's buy uh let's buy two chargers, shall we? And uh, let's get a let's get a workhorse too. All right, all right. So now can I upgrade some guys? Nah, I can't, not yet. All right, let's go take out some of those hideouts. This one seems fairly, fairly easy. We got another traveling merchant here. Let's see what he has for sale. The Empire Halberds, yeah, Rene Kopesh. Damn, the Empire Rapier, that's cool as hell. Fortunately, the Life Wizard's robe is badass. Master Engineer uniform. Like, they've got some really cool stuff. I can't afford any of it. Actually, hold up. Speaking of really cool stuff. Wait here for a second. Get our health all the way back up. I want to see if there is a tournament going on. I would like to fight the tournament and maybe get some, like, cool gear. Damn it, there isn't one. All right, that's all right. That's all right. Let's hit up this hideout. We're going to wait until nightfall. That is the fall of night, for those of you who don't know what nightfall is. And it looks like we've actually gained some skills here. We've got a steward level. Okay, so minus five wages in your party, minus 15 recruitment costs, or minus 10% food consumption, and no morale palatine from having single type food. I'm gonna go with the uh with the wages there. We got another career point. We do. Okay, I haven't really messed with Mist Form yet, so I'm gonna increase our party size by 25. So we're going to be bringing in an enslaved warrior, two Sylvanian veteran state troops, a Sylvanian sergeant, two black knights, and a damned warrior. That works for me. That sounds like uh, as good a group as any, right? All right, boys, let's go. So I see some. Uh, I see some victims over there. I wish I had my bow right now so I could be working on my bow skill. Oh, you pig! All right, let's get it, sucker. Let's get it. Me, me and you, and your friend too. Man, that sucks when a bunch of skeletons roll up on you and you're just trying to like have dinner.
I love how we got like normal ass humans like running around with like skeletons. It's great. Who was that? That guy tried, tried to stab me. Alright, went in on that dude. Let me just get a good vantage point, boys. <laughs> I fucking love that. That's so cool. Man, I could like be like sieging walls like that. Like, oh, that dude hit me. I take a lot of damage too. Good job, man. Yeah, the jump is sick though. I do like to jump a lot. It doesn't really help me get away from anybody unless I like were to jump on to like a cliffside or something or like a, like a wall. But I mean, it's, it's cool. It, it could be it could be helpful in some cases. Die, you pig! Bro, if I saw these guys rolling up on me in the night, I would hide. No shame. No shame in it. But yeah, like, look. They got, like, shit like this. That's cool. I think uh, these areas are a lot bigger than usual, too. Uh, uh, there they are. There they are, right there. Yeah! That dude was taking a piss. Good job, guys. Got a couple more, a couple more to go. Oh, he was ready for it. He's over there screaming. I think this is the last one here. Yep, that was. We don't duel with brigands either, by the way. We're not dueling with no brigand. This guy, look at this guy. This guy beat our ass. Like he's got he's got really heavy armor. We don't have shit. Alright, we unfortunately lost a guy. I don't know if he died or if he was just wounded. I don't think I don't think skeletons get wounded. If they go down, they're down down. So we officially lost a guy. That's all right, though. Because we gained uh, we gained one of these guys. Ooh, we also gained one of those guys, though, too. I think he's a little bit better. Oh, we can actually have more troops now, too, since we took that perk. All right. All right. So this outfit is better. This breastplate is kind of better. We'll take it. Uh, that metal shield is better. I don't think we're going to find a better weapon for a little while. The swing speed on that is great, but the uh, the length on it is really bad. Hmm, this leather coat. It gives us one less body armor, but gives us more leg and arm armor. We actually probably... Probably rock that? Nah, it looks bad with that outfit. I'm, I'm going purely off of that. So we can actually use this bow. That's cool. Gauntlets are not as good. Neither are those ones. We don't have a we don't have a, a headdress. Let's put that on. Yeah. Alright. Alright. We kind of got cashed out there. We're gonna take all the shit back to Drakenhoff.
sell off prisoners for uh do some trading goodbye luxury coat i kind of want to keep that just because it's cool i might keep that just because it's cool all right we'll just sell the wool and the iron the silver and the jewelry all the jazz oh whoa 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 no i didn't want to sell that stuff let me let me get my food back there What? No, give me my food back. Nice try. Nice try. Necromancer's robes. Those are bitching. Look at those. That's what we need. The Necrarch robe. Okay. Uh, we definitely have room for more troops. So we'll get these guys. Ah, uh, 31 free company volunteers. That's kind of a lot. We don't think I don't think we have enough space for that many guys. And let's wait here for some time. Get our health back up. I would like to I would like to fight in a tournament. We got four focus points that we can put in somewhere. Medicine would be kind of nice. The only thing is, is that, uh, yeah, actually, actually medicine. We'll do medicine. Put two points in there. It's not very, that's not very vampire of us though. Don't have any more career points. Right. Who's that crew? That's a really cool banner. I wish we could make cool banners like that. All right, we're at about 75 health now. Now, are we in the deficit for dark magic yet? Not yet. It says dark energy 1255, but we have 1254. I wonder why that is. Hoping that by the time that we get well rested here, that there's going to be uh, there's going to be a tournament. If not, we can always check Waldenhof. Looks like Eisenthal is under siege, so we're not going to be able to go to any tournaments there. And for some reason, tournaments are, are not going on at night in the, uh, in the Vampire Kingdoms, even though that's like the time that you would think that they would do it. But all right, let's join this tournament here. And a broad ild is the prize. I don't know what the fuck that is. A broad ild. That sword. Okay. It's a one-handed sword too. That's right up our alley. <laughs> Oh shit. There's a wraith? <laughs> Fuck, we're gonna lose. I blocked that. I blocked that. You all saw it. Shit. Alright, well, we're not getting that sword. That's for sure. I like how the spirit host can <laughs> and the race can like join too. That's great. All right, well that uh, tournament didn't go as well as I thought it was going to. We're gonna recruit that fresh faced lad there. And let's see. Let's see, let's go to Waldenhof and see if they've got a tournament going on there. It's like our, our Scouting and our steward has gone up. Ooh, our athletics. Nice. Okay, so minus 15% armor weight and plus 4% combat movement speed to tier 3 foot troops. Plus 10 weapon handling on foot for both myself and my troops. Definitely going to take that. Scouting. Um, travel speed during daytime 
or nighttime. It would make sense. It would make more sense as vampires to do nighttime. So we're going to do that. We'll stay. We'll stay. Uh, we'll, tr we'll, we'll try to keep the immersion here as vampires moving through the dark all quick. Okay, let's see if Waldenhof has a tournament going on. They do not. So it says go to the keep. But there's nobody in the keep. Go to the dungeon. Oh, okay. Nah, we're not going to help that dude out. Fuck him. Fuck that dude. That dude can eat a basket of apples. All right, we're looking for we're looking for people to war on, like these chaos cultists right here. All right, we're gonna send the charge. That's me right there. That's me. Look, guys. Oh, uh, I lost my. Do I not have a black? No, I do have black knight still. Never mind. All right. Send everybody on the charge. Maybe, uh, maybe sling a couple of these bad boys. I can see, I think I hit somebody. Oh. Don't hit my horse, dude. Actually, I bought some new horses. I wonder if uh, any of them are better than the one I've got currently. These guys don't know what to do. Yeah, sometimes their their AI is a little funky. Unfortunately, that's just something that the uh, the mod makers are gonna have to work out. We did lose a guy. That's unfortunate. But we'll see him in death right here. Take some prisoners. And then we get any better armor. See that, that fucking cape, dude. That cape. Doesn't look nearly as cool as the other armor, but it's a, it's a balance a little bit better. These tailor wrap shoes are better than the shoes that we've currently got. And I think those are all the upgrades we're going to get. We'll go trade out some of the stuff. See, a ghost horse, dude. That's only 2,000 bucks for a ghost horse. That's not bad. We might buy that thing. How, uh, how much better is it? Oh, I can't even write it yet. My writing needs to be 120. That sucks. Look at that thing. That thing's so sick. It's not great. It's actually not that great at all. It's ha it has horrible hit points. It's a it's a mount, not a war mount necessarily, but the charge damage is lower. I mean, honestly, it's just like a like a slight step down from what we've got right now. It's it's cool though. That's that's what really matters is it's cool. Okay, so the Empire Charger is probably our best horse. Let's get a we can get Should we buy that? Yeah, fuck it, let's buy it. Why not? It's only two thousand bucks. Ransom off our prisoners for our sixty one bones there. And What's going on with this siege over here? Oh, I'd really like to help you guys. I would, but... You guys are probably going to lose that to the Empire. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Damn, they're, like, kind of taking over. Maybe, maybe we will, we will get involved. So there's a 256 army waiting outside. They've got 194 in there. Let's just see what happens here. If they start dropping numbers really fast, we might we might jump in on this. They're 
not really uh not really losing numbers at all. They're taking out their siege equipment pretty quick. I would like to get involved, but I just like I, I'm gonna lose my whole army as soon as I like get in on that. All right, let's head back to town. Let's see if they do have another tournament going on. They do. All right, the militia Pernock. We get a militia Pernock. Probably end up selling that thing. All right. My absolute least favorite weapon. Oh, well, least favorite kind of weapon. I'm just not good at blocking. All right, hey, first round. Good job, buddy. We whipped the bastards! We did. All right, we're gonna skip that one and join up on this one. Dude, that guy got slayed quick. Whoa, they're both after me? Hell no. Y'all fight it out. Y'all fight it out. Yup. Pulling those vampire moves. You're slow, kid. You're too slow. What's that? You guys want some too? You guys want some too? Yeah! Oh. All right. Here we go. Sylvian Scout. We can take. We can take on some Sylvian Scouts. Yeah! Ah! Oh shit! This guy's. This guy's kind of fierce for a little guy. Ah! All right. Here we go. I mean, Paul Bartomar. I'm a little nervous. I feel like this guy's gonna beat my ass. Never mind. Doing doing pretty well on him. I'm gonna try to break his shield down. Oh, he got his face cut. And there we go. We've earned ourselves renown. And a and a militia for knock. I bet you that thing's short as hell. Probably does some decent damage, though. Let's see. Let's see. 101 swing speed. The length on it is atrocious. Yeah, we're going to sell that. It's... All right. And we did level up, it looks like. Did we level up in the career book? We did. Okay. Oh, I'm going to take new blood. That wins a magic reserve. Okay, our one-handed is just about up. Got three more focus points. I don't know what to put into yet. Like, do I want to put it in crossbow or do I want to put it in regular bow? Crossbow sounds cooler. Faster aim with crossbows, minus 3% accuracy while moving. Yeah, I, I kind of, man, I would rather do crossbows, but I feel like bows are better. Just all around better. If I could find a basic version of either so I can just start working on, whoa, there we go. Let's go help Von Karstein with these, uh, these cultists here. Not that he needs it. To like us if we do. He will like us if we do. Say joy. And we're nothing if we're not a kiss ass for the vampires. Oh, I guess I do have my, my basic bow, don't I? Actually, uh, army. You, uh. You guys, um, probably stay behind. Let's just uh let's just uh move move to that position right there. 
Go forward. I don't want him getting blown up. Everybody, follow me. me. Archers, cavalry, everybody, infantry, infantry. Where are you? Why are you running? With me. I can't stop them. They're they've got a mind of their own. I'm about to lose some troops. Stay out of it, guys. Stay out of it. Okay. No, they're good. They're good. No, they're not. Manfred, you piece of shit. Yeah, I know you don't mind. They're not your guys. All right, lost eight guys. Fucking Manfred. All for some olives, dude. All for some olives. That was not worth it. Whatever, I hope he's happy. Sell that spiked mace and let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Looks like we got another level up here in medicine. Nice plus five hit points and plus 30% recovery of lost hit points after each battle. That's huge. Plus 30% healing rate and plus two combat movement speed. I'm actually going to go with that. And I, again, I don't know. I don't know how the career book works. So we're just going to check. Can we recruit any troops? Are these Sylvanians? Yep. Good deal. Ooh, we got some Ungors over there. Let's see if Manfred tries to take him on. I think that's what he's doing. Oh, wait, hold up. Let me get in. Let me get in on this. All right, let's go, boys. By my will. So I'm just going to keep I'm just going to keep my men back here. Yeah. All right. We'll let Manfred fucking throw his his men to the wind, see it. Shit. They just threw a lot of arrows and shit at me. Uh alright. We're gonna we're gonna turn. That was like a wall of arrows coming at me. My horse, my poor horse. a bunch more of those dudes nice they still got quite a few guys left though quite a few guys left though all right we hit him with one of those Notice my spellcraft is not really increasing like ever. I never see that level go up, even though I'd be casting spells like mad. These guys just don't even know what to do. Their AI got broke again. Yeah, my, my writing and my athletics is going up, but nothing else. strange all right well we won we didn't lose any guys oh, 
I don't think any of our guys got experience either, though. That's the trade-off. All right. Again, you save our next Volcar. Truly are the best of friends. Thanks, Manfred. Thanks for uh, blowing up all my troops in that, that last fight. Really appreciate it, brother. What are friends for, right? What are friends for? Who should we get rid of? Let me just get rid of a basic skeleton. All right. And we're good. Let's upgrade our troops. Enslaved warrior to damned warriors. Get some sergeants here. Some more black knights. Hell yeah. We're still doing fine with dark energy. We're not losing any. And again, I don't know why that is. I will say that again, like, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I wish that there were more in the way of, uh, of like missions that you could do for like the notables, like in the towns. I don't know if I just need to get my, my relations up with them more or what, but like, there just don't seem to be any like random, random, like missions for you to do, which kind of sucks. Selling off these arrows. And guys, I think there I am going to call this video. If you want to see more of Old Realms uh, Mountain Blade, just, uh, you know, like hit, hit a like or, or go down to the comments or something. Tell me that you want to see some more of this this mod here. I I really like it. I, I am having a lot of fun with it. Um, we haven't even like left our fucking nook yet. I mean, like, look how big this world is. Look how much there is. And like again, like I like I'm sure that there are some races that I haven't even seen yet. There are wood, wood elves. We haven't even run to the wood elves yet. Um, but yeah, I don't know. This is really cool. Like this is such this is an incredibly ambitious mod, and I can't wait to see like what they end up doing with it. I mean, shit, there are like so I know we've been fighting a lot of like chaos like cultists and stuff, but there are actual chaos warriors too, like straight up like corn worshiping, like guys in like big suits of armor, stuff like that. I mean, like this this is a really, really, really cool overhaul mod. But yeah, um, let me know if you guys want to see more. I love you. Take care and have a great rest of your day, week, month, and year. I'm sure I'll see you before the uh, the week or the month or the year is over. But, you know, just, uh, just stay happy. Love you guys. Bye.